New tonight, could banning books actually be increasing their readership? 7 News has extensively covered books being taken off school library shelves because they're deemed sexually explicit. But now, as our Christian Flores found out, a new study shows these restrictions could be making the books more popular than ever. I think that the data shows that those books generally have a larger interest now. School book bans backfiring. A study released this week by professors at George Mason University and Carnegie Mellon saw a 12% increase in banned books being rented at libraries where the restriction does not exist. I think we'll see that people who want to read will always read. Um, this may spark some interest in some readers who maybe haven't picked up a book in a long time. 7 News on your side has reported on numerous book bans in the past year, including at Spotsylvania County Public Schools, which removed books deemed sexually explicit from school libraries. Shame on our attorney. And shame on okay, our attorney we're not superintendent. Go down that. Including books by Pulitzer Prize winning author Toni Morrison. We all know that representation matters, and that's one of the reasons these books make their way onto the shelves. According to the American Library Association, Virginia is second to only Texas in the country in number of books challenged to be banned in schools. When you take the book out of the school, the students there, that might be their only access to books. What's your response to parents who say some of these books should not be read by kids because of some of the graphic material inside? I think it's up to each family to determine what's right for their children, but you don't get to make a decision for other people's kids. Christian Flores, 7 News.